Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. I am here to do a collective love reading for fire signs Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius for the month of January just to kind of see what's going to be shaken for you guys in the month of January, right? Because we want to know. That's right. So anyway, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay. If it doesn't resonate with you, look, don't panic. Um, it's just because I didn't pick up on your particular energy, okay? Uh, if it does resonate with you and you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And thank you to all who have subscribed to my channel. You guys are awesome, fabulous. I love you all. Um, and thank you for, for just showing your support, your likes, comments, shares, um, donations, everything. It's just been great. Um, and if you'd like to make a donation to my channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. Description box. <laughs> and this channel is for adults only. I always have a hard time saying that part. Anyway, let's get started. Overall energy, somebody is reminiscing over a past love here. Um, somebody from your past perhaps is thinking about you or you could be thinking about that person. Um, it's like this person was abundant for you and loving and you felt like home with this person. Um, very, very close to each other. Okay. So somebody is, is reminiscing, missing somebody, feeling nostalgic, having to make a choice here between two people, feeling very, very regretful and in remorse and missed an opportunity to have a reunitement. Okay. Um, someone may have wanted to take a new journey or this may have been a brand new beginning in something and somebody wants it back perhaps perhaps a cancer but not necessarily it's just what he's pointing at in this card okay somebody may have made a decision as to who they want but they may have waited just a little bit too long perhaps yeah so that may resonate with someone there we go yeah but this nostalgic feeling here and thinking back on all of that stuff you know um, and a feeling like um, time is ticking away and seriously they had a lot of time at one point this clock fit perfectly in the palm of their hands just ticking and ticking and ticking well now time's up the divine is snatching it back no more time time's up time's up Sands of time are blowing down. Everything's breaking away. Seeing the number 13 here, 14. Yep, it's done. So 13 and 14 may um, resonate with you. Yeah, and so no action is being taken here for a new beginning, right? This is a one. No action is being taken towards a new beginning. Um, Fire sign, I feel like this is uh, apparently your energy, and I feel like you're just kind of dropping the ball on this. You're just dropping it, you know, because time ticked away. Nothing was done. Nothing was fixed. Nobody, whatever, however it means to you. Time's up. You're not putting any more energy into this. You're not taking any more action towards this new beginning. And it feels to you, or to, if maybe to your person, like this is not fair. It feels very much like it's not fair. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra as well. Or another fire sign, or an air sign. Yeah, but um, it feels like everything that was in balance now has just been dumped out. No action taken, because time has run out. Yeah, but it, it looks to me like somebody wants a new beginning or um, this could be fire sign energy as well, coming through strong, wanting to cut through stuff, cut something out, communicate. But this is harsh communication, okay? 
Um, it's not delivered in the nicest, softest way <laughs> ever. And I sometimes say that this knight also brings a storm in with them. They, uh, this is somebody who may feel very, very passionate about having a new beginning or may just want to use this wand as a male phallic in order to be intimate. Um, let's find out. Clarify this Knight of Swords and this um, Ace of Wands. This, somebody may want a passionate new beginning. It's, I feel like, I, I just feel like somebody wants a new start, a fresh new start somewhere else perhaps doing something else time has ticked away on this and yeah that's what I feel like this the, the old cycle is it needs to go I feel like somebody wants a new beginning here but somebody is going to try to stop it perhaps come in and, and cut something out maybe there's something here there's a new beginning here that is being delayed. Yeah. Because it's going to be a painful ending and somebody doesn't want it to be a painful ending so it's it's delayed right now because whatever, like I said, this is harsh communication. You know, perhaps this communication needs to be had so that this wheel of fortune can turn and this new beginning can be had, but this is it's either been a painful ending or it's being delayed because somebody knows it's going to be painful for someone if they end this okay maybe you're feeling like you don't want to hurt someone or something yeah um, yeah nobody made a decision and this soulmate connection was turned upside down on its ear that's what I'm seeing because a decision was just not being made and this whole thing was in stalemate probably for too long tick tock it sat in their hands for too long so I feel like the soulmate connection is kind of being dumped out that's what I'm feeling like because your central focus here is kind of yourself okay the queen of wands fire she's the queen of fire and passion she's gonna go after what she wants with a passion and I see you being pretty happy about that or I see you being someone else's happiness I see you being beautiful and sexy and hot I see you being um, um, popular but not playing any games and you're not gonna allow your time to be wasted because your time is precious. You know, you're chasing after your goals, after your dreams, with a passion, whatever they may be. And you're so happy to finally feel like you're doing that. You could also be a Leo. Or you could be dealing with the Leo. Yeah, look. Because this old cycle was so difficult and packed full of lessons that you not only get a completion, but you get a graduation, okay? That means you put forth so much effort into what this, this old cycle was and what, all it had in it, that you learn so much from it that you graduated and you're elevating. You're elevating enough to take action for yourself. Say, don't waste my time anymore, okay? Don't waste my time anymore. And you're going to go after what you want, what makes you happy. That's what I'm seeing here. You're dumping the soulmate connection here, it looks like, because it sat for too long on a decision that was never made. And this wheel just cannot be, um, it can't be delayed. It can't be delayed anymore. Time's up. Somebody feels very, very, um, sorry about that fire signs. I don't know what just happened with my camera unit. I don't know what happened with the unit. <laughs> All right. So yeah, somebody feels like they missed an opportunity here or they are going to miss an opportunity right now. They're sitting here feeling nostalgic. 
feeling pain because they have a decision to make and they can't, they feel like they can't make it. They need to take that blindfold off so they can see things from a different perspective here. They're not going to be able to get a new beginning or give any clarity or get any clarity unless they get rid of one of these swords, pick up one and cut something out. They're feeling very regretful. This is your second missed opportunity here. Over a possible third party situation. See, they needed to choose. Right? But the divine is saying this one, this is the one right here. This one here. And this person feels like they missed this gift that the divine was trying to give to them. A brand new beginning in love. It's like, I feel like they had it though because they're feeling nostalgic over it. <laughs> I feel like this person was handed a new beginning in love. That's this, right? And they lost it. They missed the opportunity because they were focused on a third party situation. The choices that they had to make and themselves and being selfish being selfish okay so this this person made a, a very selfish move with someone from their past that they had a brand new beginning with okay a brand new beginning in love probably you fire sign unless this is you it could be your energy as well take it however it resonates um but they sabotaged it for like no other reason besides they could okay that was the only reason is that they could they thought it was funny they smirked about it afterwards after after they had this person stabbed in the back and left him laying there bleeding out for dead they smirked about it this is the most selfish thing somebody can do and now they have a lot to say to you but they don't exactly know how to say it and so they're holding back communication on purpose while they watch you this is my creepy mccreeperson card this is creepy mccreeperson nice to meet you there you go yeah all they do is watch and keep their mouth shut and this has this person trapped in their mind they can't stop thinking about all of the things that have happened in the past all of the things that um Here's the past, right? Having those memories, all the love that, that they had to sit on because they couldn't decide. Now, that, now they're regretful, remorseful, knowing that they missed out. All of these things is one of these swords, right? And, the, and these swords keep going round and around and around. It's an eight. What goes around comes around. It's coming back to around, around to them. Perhaps they're feeling the same way they made you feel. And that's the justice here. <laughs> that's almost like a confirmation right there. This is how they made you feel. This is their justice. And now and they're feeling now they're feeling like they're left out in the cold. Possibly following behind somebody feeling like a feeling like um a wounded like this person that looks like they've been hit by a car. <laughs> It looks like they've been hit by a freaking car or something because he's all beat up and banged up and stuff. This person can barely walk. He's all like bent. <laughs> what the crap? Look at how he's bent. And he's just tailing behind this person here. This is the justice. Feeling fairly impoverished. Um, feeling left out in the cold. Feeling you know somewhat abandoned just like they abandoned the person that they stabbed here okay now that's for that's either your energy or your person's energy take it however it resonates but that's the justice in this that's just the justice that is see before it didn't feel fair but behind the scenes it is they're getting exactly what they gave you That's either for you or you're getting exactly what you gave them. Take it however it resonates for you. Um, all right, what else do we got? You know what? Let's do a let's do an outcome. 
I'm going to work with the flash. What can you show me for an outcome for this, for fire signs? What's going to happen with this person? What's going to happen with the, fi with the fire sign watching? What's going to happen here? You could be dealing with the, well, we've got everybody. We've got uh, Libra. We've got air signs, earth signs, fire signs, water signs. We get, we could, it could be anybody. All right. Look at how unhappy this person is. This, you know, this is the, the pain and anguish that they're going through is on the inside. They're not allowing anybody to see how they really feel. You know, they're not showing it on the outside. It's a rarity, okay? They're, they're, and, but it, it kind of shines through when people aren't looking at them and facing them. It shines through. That sadness, that emptiness, this, this child here just feels empty. You could have children that feel the same way about this. But this person's been through a lot or has seen a lot and they're feeling a lot, but they just, uh, by the look on this face, it's like they don't know how to deal, you know? What else can you show me? Yeah, they're scared. They're scared. What's this person afraid of? I'm hearing... And I don't know the the fact that it's that they're out in the cold is what's really bothering them. Yeah, I saw the squawking duck or the squawking goose. So somebody wants to talk, someone wants to talk, but they're afraid because because there's something going on with this match, but it's not really a match. It's like a mismatch, even though. Even though these things look like they're about the same age, they look like they're pretty clean, they look like they're pretty crisp, they look, you know, they look like a lot of things, but really there's something off about them. Are they with somebody that like they're it's just for show or is this you? Because somebody wants to write a whole new story here. The light's being shed on a lot of things. The light's being shed. I feel like... Light's being shed on a lot of things that are going on in the home. a lot take place in your kitchen or somebody's messing with the food perhaps and this is coming to light maybe this is why this person feels so busted up and like I don't know they're, they look bent to me yeah this is they're, they're getting stung that, that to me means it, it's really close to the justice here. They're totally getting stung now. Yeah, with somebody that is kind of segmented, like there's something not right. Like half the time they look great and they're acting fine and then the next minute it's almost like they separate and they become a completely different person, all wrinkled, all crumped up in a little pile. Like, like, do they flip out? You know what I mean? Like, they're fine one second and they're like, ah, the next second. You know what I mean? And this is why this person feels stung because maybe they're with this person. And that's why they're afraid, because that's what's not right about this person, is that they are like that. They may feel very protective. This masculine energy, there's a masculine energy possible fire sign that may feel protective right now. Because they're afraid. I hope this is resonating with someone. 
I've got to be able to put it together sooner or later, but I don't know, man. This is a toughie. But I do have three separate signs out here. All the fire. We've got all, yeah, something needs to be cut out because it's becoming abusive now. I really feel like it's it's this person here that they're with that's segmented and all weirded out. You know, they can't keep their own, they can't keep their mind together or their emotions together or something. And now it's just become, it's become um, abusive. This is my card for, this is the stake that you put on a black eye. That's this card. Yeah. They're living in a bad situation and something needs to be cut. That could be abusive. What else can you show me regarding this situation? What else can you show me, Divine? What else can you show me regarding the situation? Yeah, they're getting sick. I, you know, this person could be having some stomach issues now. You know, they could be... Something's not right here. This is abusive. This is like a kind of not... This person is segmented. This person is... I don't want to say wishy-washy. I think they just they just snap and freak out at weird times over weird things, over anything. And that's what needs to be cut. It's making somebody feel sick. And that's why they're afraid. You know, because this... Ooh, and that flew on the floor. Their happiness now just fell on the floor. So, no, not even any happiness. It's just falling apart. This person could be facing a tower moment. I'm feeling like, um, like this, this kid is shell-shocked. Like maybe they see this kind of behavior out of this person with the mental issue quite often, perhaps, and they're just shell-shocked. Uh, there may be more than your person living in fear. It may be the children as well. I mean, what's going on with this? Yeah, and the sunshine has fallen. Everything's falling apart here. Here's a, an ass. Somebody's feebly trying to fix it. But it's, it's a really bad place. This, this dark corner table in the high school cafeteria is not the table you want to choose for a nice, healthy, wholesome, uneventful meal, okay? Okay, this is not a good place to be. You don't just choose to sit at this table unless you want to either be, be beat up, be bullied, or become a bully. That's it. Otherwise, you stay the heck away from that table. But this person's all in. And I feel like they don't want to be anymore. And I feel like that's part of their justice. And their justice is that it's making them sick. They're not cutting this out. It was a sting, meaning uh, it almost feels like a trap. It almost feels like a burn. You know what I mean? Like maybe this was something that they chose to do. And now they're being stung for it because the person they picked is, is a balloon. And now they're afraid. Wow. Wow, didn't think it was going to go in that direction, fire signs. But um, either this is either your energy or your person's energy. Take it however it resonates. I'm feeling like it's your person's, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is there's not going to be any more effort put into this. There's just not. All right, let's pull the sister deck. Um, any advice you have for fire signs in this situation? Fire signs right now, all I can see with you right now is that you're, this has come to a completion. You put a lot of work into this, a lot of effort, and now the cycle's over. 
and you're focusing on your happiness. That's what I'm seeing from you. I think the rest pretty much primarily is your persons. I feel like you, though, also think that this was not a fair situation, but you're in the Queen of Wands energy. You're not going to allow yourself any more time to waste on this. You need to go after your happiness and take some action for yourself. Yeah, I think your person feels like they're in a jail right now. Or you may have felt like you were in a jail and now you're going. But I really feel like this is your person's energy. Feeling like they're in a jail and feeling like they're losing their energy, getting sick. Maybe your person is in jail. That could be it too. Or that didn't dawn on me. They could very well be in jail. And they, they could very well be getting sick in jail just thinking about all of this stuff because they're in heavy regret and sorrow. This person, whoever this is, who's getting stung and out in the cold all bent up. <laughs> it's weird, man. <laughs> I don't like the way he's bent looking. Like this person's been through a lot. Yeah, jail. Jail, this person could be going to jail. That could be what you're setting out to do is get them in jail. <laughs> yeah, not prob probably not funny, but still, I got to call it out there. Yeah, but the police may be involved here um, with something in your situation. What are the police involved in? And I usually don't get the police card in readings like I don't remember the last time I got the police card but this may have something to do with the police the police have, have been involved in this or they could have come because of some kind of fight or battle in this cafeteria card and uh, and you got put in jail physical abuse was out here there could be some abusive um, stuff going on this is too many cards divine but this is the divine trying to throw some protection here in the situation for whoever needs it for whoever they deem need it um, yeah and you know this person's fire is all out look at his nostrils are smoking and it's just the fire's been put out the fire's been put out in this in this dragon's heart and now they're just either trapped or in jail trapped in a situation they don't want to be in for sure for sure yeah doing a lot of fighting you could be dealing with the Pisces as well or another fire sign we've got all the signs out here but this is a lot of inner turmoil as well. Perhaps this person could get break free from wherever they're trapped and get out. They could be battling themselves inside about this. You know. But I'm seeing that wherever they are, there, there could also be a lot of fighting. A lot of battling. A lot of being on the defensive. Petty squabbles. People trying to scare each other and one-up each other. And this is where they're trapped, you know? And then women, like too many women chasing after them. Now they're afraid though. Oh yeah, yeah. And then there's Jubilatus. Let's, we'll just consider Jubilatus the last card. I love Jubilatus. But the problem with Jubilatus is Jubilatus is really, really upset. He is stuck in a corner right now but he's not actually really stuck there. He stays there on purpose. He could get up and walk over here to see what all this action is over here, but he doesn't. He just watches other people, doesn't know if he doesn't maybe trust them, maybe he's upset with them. I see this as a very upset person who's backed himself into a corner and stays there and keeps themse themselves rather isolated so your person may be keeping themselves isolated a little bit um, also because they're upset, but it's their own choices that got them there. 
See what I'm saying? Yeah, all right. Well, that's what I have for you guys, water signs that's happening in January. I'm sure I'll get out. Oh, did I say water signs? I'm sorry, fire signs. Fire signs, you could be dealing with a water sign. Water signs could be involved in this, just because I blurted that out. Um, but yeah, I hope this resonates with you guys. I'll probably be doing more in the month of January, but this is a start. Um, anyway, good luck with everything. Have a great month, and peace out.